just thought that I would do a video and update everybody on how we did with our first week of doing envelope tracking of our spending. We didn't fill these full of cash, not all of them, and we've been using our card, but I've been keeping every receipt that we've used so that I can keep track of what we spend money on and how much we've been spending. I've also been writing down when we spend the money, keeping track of how much is left of our budget and how much we've spent. So we have three envelopes going in our system. We've got a grocery and other envelope, a fuel envelope and a sport envelope because my partner plays sports and he pays for his match fees in cash. So the sport envelope is empty. All the money's gone. He played three games. The fuel envelope, I used card. And out of our $50 that I allotted, there's still $5.80 left. And of our groceries, um, I have identified that I shop a lot more than I should. I have overspent by $0.78 cents in our groceries. And I've overspent by $92.26 in our other category. Now, in that, I spent um, $43.94 on two sleeping bags and some socks for our little boys. And I also spent close to $40 on hair product because I had a hair emergency this weekend. And I had a funeral to go to today, so I couldn't leave it. So that is almost $80 that I, or close to $80 that I normally wouldn't spend. So my spend would not have been so high over the budget, but I did spend over and I am hoping that I can rein that in this next coming week. So I'll keep these envelopes with our receipts inside and I will keep track for next year and compare our spending, hopefully with identified some holes and made some improvements by then and I can look back and compare. So I've done up August's envelopes. I've got again one for sport, one for groceries and other and one for fuel. And each week I have um, divided the envelope into four sections. So there's, I think there's there's a little bit over four weeks in August. I will be making the last week a no spend week at this current time. That is what I'm planning. So we'll see how we go there, but it pretty much covers all of August. I have allocated the amount that I have budgeted for in each of the categories. So $60 per week for sports. Um, $125 a week for groceries and $50 for other and I have given myself $50 next week for fuel. I actually have to double check the budget. I think that $50 a week is too much and I'll have to pull that back down but for next week I've allowed $50 and hopefully it'll stretch over the fortnight but if not I will have to dip into our funds. Excuse my little one, he's saying mum, mum, mum. Yes. So, um, that's our system at the moment and it worked pretty well. I remembered to keep all of my receipts and I haven't misplaced any of them. I also was really good at writing them down each day and keeping track of how far over the spending I was. However, not sure I'm loving how raggy the envelope's looking after just one week and I dread to think what my crisp... August envelopes are going to look like after a whole month so that will be interesting I might have to come up with another system for this the envelopes may not um, work I do need a new purse so maybe I'll have to factor that in when I choose one so apart from that um, not much is new with us Everybody is just in the swing of work and school and swimming lessons and just getting by every day, trying not to spend too much. Um, yeah, I think I will be putting up a video this week on making homemade yogurt. So if that's something that you're interested, please check interested in, please check back in. And if you like what you see and you want to um, be notified of our update at the end of next week, please subscribe and I will be putting up a video. Thank you for your time.